Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Prediction. Um, I'm not sure how many of these games will go ahead. Um, obviously you'll know why. Um, what's interesting to me about what's going on is Arsenal games being called off against Man City due to be played tonight as I'm recording this. Game is fine, and as I've said, you know why. Um, but now I've got West Ham coming out, who Arsenal played last weekend. So it's going to be interesting to see where the Premier League take this, but I want to get there to all this. There was a lot of talking points, so let's get down to it. Um, guys, anyway, this video is sponsored by LRT Shop Company. I sell my merch, take from my merch down in the description below. So go feel free to check it out, along with all my social medias. Um, but anyway, as I said, there's a lot to talk about, so I want to get straight down to it, guys. You know what to do, you know what I'll do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Bournemouth versus Crystal Palace. Um, Bournemouth have not won in their last four league game. Do I think Bournemouth are down? I don't quite think they're down, but it's games like Crystal Palace are going to have to win, which is not easy. Um, Go beat teams like Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace got nine points at their last five league matches as well. Um, beating Watford at home, as uh, yeah, beating Watford at home. You know the previous week had just gone, and obviously three three wins on the spin, and they're gonna be full of confidence going into this game. I think that a lot of it will be down to confidence in the Bournemouth players. Um, whether they go get something from this game, but I don't think they will. I think Crystal Palace will win this game, and I'll go for a 2 0 Crystal Palace win. My next one is Newcastle versus Sheffield United. Newcastle have only picked up five points from them at their last five league games, only winning one, and that was the way to uh, Southampton. Newcastle are a team this season that. You know, Steve, Brick, Steve uh, Bruce sorry, got all the stick um, at the start of the season. And Newcastle fans aren't warming to him. Obviously, they've all got their situations while they did it. But I think Steve Bruce done a great job at Newcastle. Um, I was one of the people that didn't think he'd survive. Um, but he proved me wrong. Uh, I think... Newcastle are just gonna be one of them play uh, one of them teams where gang need to get key players if they're thinking about uh Europa football or European football over the next five years. Um Sheffield United on the other hand, you know, ten points out of their last five games, flying high, um, in and out of European places. Uh I think Sheffield United will just get it this season. Um I think with Sheffield United doing so well you know it's going to be it'd be a good thing for English football I do think if uh, Sheffield Giant do qualify for Europe uh, but as I said 10 points out of the last 5 games I think Sheffield Giant just got edged this one and I'll go for a 1-0 Sheffield United win my next one is Brighton versus Arsenal Brighton's last result was a 0-0 draw against Wolves. Brighton has still yet to win in the Premier League this season, uh, this year, sorry. Uh, you know, just two points off the relegation zone. It really, with Brighton, you know, great point up at Wolves. Uh, but obviously I need to start winning. The good thing about Arsenal coming to Brighton, um, I perceive it's where I'm from, is that Arsenal has never won at the MX in the Premier League. They got one draw and one defeat. So, you know, good time probably for Brighton's plan. This game's been cancelled. This could be another game that could be postponed. Obviously, it's up to the Premier League. But it's got to be interesting all the way down to Saturday, 3 o'clock. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go back it for Brighton win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win. My next one is Watford versus Leicester. 
Watford's last result was a 1 0 defeat uh, to Crystal Palace. Watford have lost three out of their last five league games. Leicester, on the other hand, you know, beaten Villa 4 0. Much needed. Yes, there's a handball talking point in that game. I'll get down to that one to speak about the Aston Villa game this weekend. Uh, but as I said, great point for um, Leicester, uh, three points for Leicester there. First went out of five games as well, so probably a bit of confidence will be coming in to the uh, Leicester players. And I go for a 2 1 Leicester City win. Uh, my next one is Manchester City versus Burnley. Manchester City have lost two out of their last five league games. Um, Burnley have not lost in their last five league games. Burnley have nine points out of the last five games. So, confidence wise, Burnley probably just edge it. But if results go against Man City, Liverpool can retain the title this weekend against um, Everton. As I said, I'll get down to that in just a minute. Um, but how do I call this game? I'm going to go for, uh, I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Norwich versus Southampton. Norwich is seven points off of safety as it stands. Um, you know, seven points off of safety, nine games remaining, so uh, Basically got to win three out of the last line. And hoping that other teams slip up. Um, you know, Southampton on the other hand currently sit on 34 points. Uh, one win out of the last five league games. There was a key talking point in that Southampton game. Um, but, you know, it's... With VAR, um, there's a red card. Firstly, but to another red card. This is what I like VAR. It, you know, it might be changing the game of football the way we like it, but it changes it for the better, as far as I think. If it's a red card, you know, you're playing someone and they get a red card, thanks for the AL, you've got to be cheering for it. Obviously, if it's, if it's against you, then you've got to be hating it, but I still think it's a decent bit of kit. Premier League just need to work on it ever so slightly um, to make it, you know, benefit all of us. Uh, this game's going to be slightly interesting for one or two reasons. One is Southampton away from home. Uh, Southampton lost the previous weekend, but I think Southampton are just going to get back on winning ways, and I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. Next up is Aston Villa versus Chelsea. Aston Villa was a last game lost to Leicester, 4 uh, 0 defeat. Away to Leicester as well. Um, Aston Villa have only got three points out of their last five games. Chelsea are currently sitting in the top four uh, after their last result, 4 0 win over Everton. Um, I want to talk about this VAR. Now, I can see some of you disagreeing with me, and I can see some of you sort of agreeing with me. Um, obviously, you'll feel free to put your comments down below. Um, I can see it hit Tyro's main shoulder, but I can see why it was given as a penalty. Um, now, well, I've already spoke, spoken to you about how a match officials, uh, I don't think they're up to scratch. I'm sorry, Premier League, sorry to the match officials. I think we're way below part of match officials. Um, but as I said, I can see why the penalty was given. There's no tent for him to put his head on that ball. Um, he stuck his arm out. And it might have hit his shoulder, but it might have hit his upper arm. Uh, you know, there's one or two reasons why I could have given it. Why did he die? Why did he just put his foot on it? You know, it's all in things as well that we've got to take into consideration. Um, but as I said, our match officials are way below par. I think, as in match officials, we're probably 
you know, quite low down the table, as, um, you know, from the rest of Europe. I know there's enough referees coming through, so I think we need to come up with a promotion mitigation scheme for the referees to help um, keep their job up to scratch, and then um, also give other referees a go. But yeah, I can see why a lot of people get a bit annoyed. Um, but as I said, until the Premier League start bringing up these referees, we're stuck. Um, but as far as this game goes, I think Chelsea are going to win again. And I'll go for a 2-0 Chelsea win. The next game, and now this is one I'm, sh I'm not sure whether it will go ahead um, due to what's going around is the fact of West Ham being in contact with the Arsenal players last Saturday and the Arsenal game has been called off due to the Olympiacos and Notts Forest uh, chairman showing uh, symptoms of the virus going around and um, so I'm not sure whether this game will go ahead but I'll give you my prediction anyway um, but West Ham are on 27 points as of the relegation zone by goal difference. Their last game, you know, with their last game against Arsenal, 1 0 defeat, you know, it's really one of them things where uh, I think for West Ham, I think they will survive, but it's squeaky bun time for the Cubs down the bottom. Um, as for Wolves, the last game 0 0 was a George Brighton at home. I only have one shot on target um, and I know some Wolves fans ain't happy about that uh, you know but three points for this game for Wolves could put them in the top five but I can understand Wolves frustration I think it took about 75 minutes to put their shot on target um, but where do you go if you're a Wolves fan and um, it really is interesting to know um, as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a Wolves win. I'm expecting to get back on winning ways. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. And I know Wolves ain't happy about the UAP League game being played um, over uh, uh, against Olympiacos. They've asked for it to be postponed. Uh, that got rejected. Uh, I know the Wolves manager ain't happy about no fans and stuff like that. I can understand his frustrations also. Um, my next one is Tottenham versus Manchester United. Um, Jose Mourinho plays his old side. With Jose Mourinho, please ask if you're a Tottenham fan. Are you happy with him? Um, you know, if results really go against you this weekend, you could end up in 11th place. Um, I know it's a big if, but, you know, it can happen. Um, United, you know, with, you know, with Man United um, beating Man City, that's a big confidence key for Man, for Man United. Going forward with this game, I think it's going to be slightly interesting from the get-go for Man United. I think I go on a hit on the counter. Um, you know, I'm really trying to hit um, Tottenham right down as well. And if results go Man United away and they win this game, they could go into the top four. Who would have said that a couple of months ago? Um, I certainly wouldn't. I know some of you wouldn't. I know some of you probably saw what's coming on the on Gar Solskjaer, but you know, he's done good work there, I praise him for that. Um, as far as the result goes, I'm going to go for a Man United win, and I'm going to go for a 3 nil Man United win. My last one for this weekend is Everton versus Liverpool. Um, Everton have not won in their last three league games. Liverpool could lift the title this weekend. All goes on the Man City game whether they do so. But if it's not this weekend and Liverpool win this weekend, all they got to do is win next weekend and they got the title for the first time ever in the Premier League. Um, 
Yeah, I want Liverpool to do it. Um, I know some of you United fans and City fans be frustrated over it, but you know, for Liverpool to be so close last season and just miss out, I think they do deserve it. And plus, they've got Atletico Madrid coming up in the Champions League as well. Uh, so, but for this game, I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Liverpool win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Big fat fun, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.